You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, General Hospital fans, it's time for our weekly prediction edition. We're going to talk about whether Sam left a last will and testament that might shock everyone. Nina raging at Drew and Rick scoring a big win. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got predictions for Rick and Ava, for Holly, for Drew and Willow, for Nina and Drew, and for Sam, Dante, Jason, and Drew. If you have not, please reach down, click subscribe. Let's dive right in with our first prediction. I think Rick is going to get a big win. He's going to get those photos tossed out of Ava's case, I think. Probably going to get the whole case tossed. I just have this very strong inkling that Rick is going to get this basically the only piece of evidence tossed out and Ava's case just isn't going to be able to move forward. Christina and Ava both know she did not push her, but that's what Christina told the cops. Ava did touch her. She grabbed onto her arm. She had her, I I went back and looked at the video and I'm going to show you guys the video, by the way, in just a second. She didn't push her, but she did touch her. So this was the August 1st, 2024 episode. Here's a clip of what happened to remind you, because it's been a while since we've seen this, right? Watch. Don't threaten me. Touch me. So Ava puts her hand around her upper arm. She's not shaking her. She's not pushing her or pulling her. She's, but she is, you know, kind of holding her, gripping her, but she's not pushing her forward or backward. Christina reacted badly. She stepped back and was kind of twisting. The main thing, she tripped over Kate's suitcase. She stumbled, then she twisted around, fell out what can only be a criminally thin hotel window. And now I'm going to show you the photos that Jason gave the PCPD. There's four of them. These photos do not match the video that we all saw on the episode. So I just wonder, because I know there's been a lot of debate here in the comments. You know, y'all have been, some of y'all have been debating with me. Some of y'all agree with me. And I don't know if people have been not remembering the video or then looking at those photos and thinking, oh, that's what happened because it's really weird. The photos, it's like one, she has her hand all the way around on her back. One, she has it like on kind of like up by her collarbone. One where it looks like she has her hand out like she was shoving her. It's crazy. Uh, The photos do not mesh with the video. What we all saw happen, it's very weird. And just by the way, I checked, it's a violation of privacy laws for a PI to use a telephoto lens to snap photos into a hotel room without that person's consent, without Ava's consent, because she had an expectation of privacy and those shouldn't be admissible in the state of New York anyway. We'll see. I don't think that GH cares about that law or Anna wouldn't have made the arrest, so they're ignoring it. Christina was not pushed, but Ava shouldn't have grabbed her arm. But Christina shouldn't have been there at all. But if Kate's luggage wasn't there, Christina would never have fallen because she tripped. It all just adds up to a horrible accident. So with Sam dead, Christina unhinged with grief, there's no way she can handle being on the stand. I mean, Rick would destroy her. You guys know how he is. Thursday, November 14th, spoilers have Alexis warning Christina. That's the same day that Rick is challenging. Ava. So it may be about this case. We all know Rick's not going to let up, so we'll see how it goes. Even if it goes to trial, I just don't think we're going to see Ava in an orange jumpsuit. Like Sunny, we all know Ava rarely pays for her crimes. And in this case, she didn't push her. There's not a crime. It's just, it was just a nasty set of circumstances, but it is, it is interesting. You guys look at the photos, you know, rewind the video and look, look at those photos compared to the actual video of the incident. Isn't that weird? So I don't know if they're going to say the photos were doctored or like if GH filmed the scene and then they had them stand there and did still photographs and just, I don't even know because they don't match. It's very weird. Our second prediction, Holly takes off out of Port Charles again. So on Monday the 11th, Holly is looking for some sort of payday because she heads over to see Jack Brennan. She had to give the diamonds back to Sidwell to save Sasha, but she shows up telling Jack she's there to get what she's owed. What does that even mean? It sounds like Holly doesn't want to leave empty handed. So did she somehow help the WSB during this deal and wants some kind of payback? Maybe there's a tracking device or something in with the diamonds that she let, sorry, let Jack put there so that he can track Sidwell to take him down. Remember, he said that the pilot was a friend of his, the one that Sidwell killed. So Holly is looking for Sasha to forgive her. 
you know, she's hoping for that. I don't know if she's going to get it. Felicia encourages uh, Sasha to think about it, but I don't know if she will. And Holly's not likely to hang around and wait. Emma Sam's run wasn't supposed to be too long, so I suspect we're going to see her pack off out of town. On Monday, spoilers have Mac pushing Robert to get Holly out of his life. And, you know, Robert getting a daughter out of this deal is great, but we all know Holly's never going to settle down and domesticate. That's not who she is. Tuesday, November 12th, spoilers have Holly asking something of Anna. And I wonder if it's to keep an eye on Robert and Sasha when she goes. All right. Our third prediction, Drew's sex scandal gets him kicked out of Congress. So Michael has video proof that his uncle Drew did the dirty with his wife Willow. And on Wednesday the 13th, Drew finds out if he won his election. I suspect he might. And if so, his fling with Michael's wife could cost him that new seat in the House. And no, exposing Drew is not going to unelect him. That's not what I'm saying. But yes, Congress itself could oust him for a nasty scandal, especially like if Willow turned up pregnant. I was looking at what could happen. And with a two thirds vote, the other members of the house can expel one of their own if they find the conduct egregious and impregnating your nephew's wife isn't criminal, but it sure is shady, especially if Willow, you know, does turn up pregnant. It's one thing to sleep together, but if she turned up pregnant, uh, super sketchy. Also, if Michael or Cody or Tracy released the info, released a little bit of the edited video, Drew could face so much public pressure and ridicule that it forces him to resign or face constant embarrassment and scrutiny. That's more often what happens to congressmen who get into sex scandals is they are basically shamed into resigning. So yeah, this definitely could come back to bite him. And while Drew confessed to kissing Willow to avoid being blackmailed into voting with Ned and Tracy for ELQ stuff, he might cave to blackmail to keep it from coming out and ruining his brand new political career. All right, our fourth prediction, speaking of Drew, I think Nina's going to rage at Drew. So last week, you know, we all watched in horror as Willow played hop on pop with Drew in the kids' nursery at the Q Mansion, and it all got caught on the nanny cam. And of course, they don't know, but Michael knows. And on Monday the 11th, spoilers have Michael going to talk to his dad, Sonny, and it sounds like he might tell him what Drew and Willow did. I do wonder if Michael will confess his own one-night stand with Sasha, but, you know, of anybody, Sonny is not going to judge him. Also on Monday, the 11th spoiler say Drew checks in with Willow, but she does not want to see or talk to him. I do suspect she may run to her mom, Nina, and confess this dirty deed because she needs someone to talk to, and Willow knows she can't tell Sasha anything ever again. So Mama Nina seems the likeliest person to hear Willow's confession. Can you even imagine? Nina, of course, would be sweet to Willow, but then she might go kick Drew right in his man bits, which he deserves. I mean, I can't I can't even with Nina if she doesn't go rage at him. He deserves to be raged at. By Thursday the 14th, Michael has a heartfelt chat with Willow, and I wonder if he is going to try and give her room to confess, thinking if if she does, you know, that maybe he'll confess, and then they could both let it go and move forward, because he, he did something with Sasha he shouldn't have. So I wonder what advice Nina might give Willow. She told her before to keep the kisses secret, and that all blew up, turned out to be bad advice. So maybe Nina will give her better advice and say, go ahead and come clean this time. Fifth and final prediction. Is Sam going to have a will, a last will and testament that will surprise Drew, Jason, and Dante? So we know Sam's funeral's coming soon. Alexis is planning it. And by Friday the 15th, there's a photo of Carly in funeral clothes having a tense chat with Jason. So I suspect Sam's funeral is probably going to come the following week, the week that starts on the 18th. We'll see. And I spoke about Alexis wanting custody of the kids and the case for it. I think Drew might be more inclined than Jason would to do that. You know, not even custody, but just letting the kids live with her, with the dads seeing them whenever they want. But what if Sam thought about that before her surgery? I mean, she's smart. She knows all surgeries carry some risk. The hospital might have had an advocate ask Sam if she wanted to write or update her will just in case. You know, maybe she did. I had some minor surgery, and they came out with all kinds of forms to talk to me. This was like... 
I was in my 20s probably, you know, and very healthy otherwise. And so that would be a pretty interesting twist. Dante and Sam have been raising all three kids as a family, Rocco, Danny, and Scout. Jason and Drew are basically drop-in parents. They're not there every day. And, you know, Sam didn't even want Jason around Danny that much. She thought he was a bad influence, but she was kind of softening up on that. So it would be interesting if Sam's last wish and in her will was that the kids stay with Dante in their home and he kept raising all three kids together with Drew and Jason being as active or present as they wanted to be, but for her kids to continue as they have been living as a family unit with Dante. I mean, that would be wild. You know, Drew and Jason have both been presumed dead in the past and I wonder if they have come back and reestablished their parental rights. Like, I don't know if they didn't worry about the legalities because Sam just let them see the kids. So they might have to respect her wishes at least initially and then go to court to fight for custody because of the whole messiness of being presumed dead in the past. So this could be an interesting twist. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.